King Trunks' voice actor is in this movie. Cool. Round while I'm frozen to my seat. The people that I know I'll keep on rolling down the street. But every day is different, so I'm switching up the beat because my parents came with nothing. They got a little more and sure with Paul, but yo, at least we got the store. And it's all about the legacy they left with me. It's destiny. Yo. Life for what is life in Washington Heights. In the Heights tells a story of a movie that has takes place in Washington Heights, Nueva York. That's basically the plot is the same as the Broadway show where the community of Nueva York persuades a dream for a better life. Now, as I watched this film on HBO Max, because I chose to watch this film on HBO Max in wake of saving, of saving my credits for the Space Jam 2 tickets. So, what do I think of it as when I watch it? It's amazing! Let me tell you the reasons why. One, this movie is what Cats should have been. You know, that 2019 Cats film. And before you doubt it, I actually watched the Cats 2019 film on HBO Max with my sister, ironically, before the end of 2020. And it was mediocre in my opinion, but move along. As I say by that, meaning this movie is faithful to the Broadway musical by itself. Two, passionate directing from John M. Chu. Three, Great cinematographics. Five, it represents Hispanic culture. Six, beautiful settings of Nueva York, which is New York in Spanish, and Cuba, which is a Havana. And eight, the acting in this movie. Plus, my favorite character of this film is Usnavi, because he's, he's played by Anthony Ramos. If you don't know who Anthony Ramos is, he is notable for voicing King Trollix in Trolls World Tour. Yep, it's official. I applaud to that. So yeah. And before I end this review, do I have any flaws? Well, I have two. Warning, some of these may include spoilers, so I highly suggest you to watch it in HBO Max or in theaters if it's your choice. One, some scenes like sexual tensions might be a bit uncomfortable in my opinion. And two, Abuela Claudia's death might be upsetting for some people slash viewers. So yeah. So my verdict, if you're a fan of Hamilton, this is the movie for you. In conclusion, I love this movie. I'm adding this on one of my favorite movies of 2021 so far. I'm going to give In the Heights a 9 out of 10. So yeah everyone, that is my review. Please click subscribe, and my next movie I'm going to watch on Friday, June 18th is Disney Pixar's Luca on Disney+. Plus. So stay tuned for my review, and I'll see you guys next time.